hypothesis, which is 50-50, if it was fair. But if it's not fair, I would have to prove that it's not fair. How can we simulate that? Well, one way we could say, let's use my random generation tool and say that if it's a one, it's a heads. And if it's anything other than a one, it's going to be tails. So we could use the same kind of concept, but then go to three. And so now we're going to apply everything that's one, a heads, everything that's not a one, a tail, do the same number generation tools, but now we get from one to three, right? And then we can copy this whole random generator tool over to, to get the hard coded numbers. And so here's our hard coded number outcomes. And again, the numbers are a little bit messed up here uh, for the for the number of flips, but I think this comes out to actually uh, 70, 74 flips. So, uh, and it might come out to 75. So I think this 74 is a little bit. So what happened here is, is here I took the number of heads, which means that I'm gonna say count if there's a one and it took all the heads. Now this one, I actually cheated a little bit and I didn't catch the fact that my numbers were not properly uh, calculated here because this is, well, actually this is one, this one's populating properly. One, two, so this one looks right. So the other one had some funny business going on. So I think this one is right, but I still kind of shortcutted it by saying that, well, if there's 21 heads and I flipped it 74 times, then the two and the three are going to be the, the what are the rest are populated and i'm assuming those are tails so i just took 74 minus uh minus 21 gives us the 53 so that the 53 and the 21 add up to 74 which i'm saying is the total number of flips now notice that it would be better if i actually did another count if function uh to count this column if it came out to be three or two because then I get kind of a double check on my total, which I like to do as an accountant. <laughs> but but uh, uh, but that takes a little bit more complex of a formula because then I have to hey, say if it's not only a one, but a one or a two, right? So I kind of shortcutted it here because if it's not a one, I, I could have said, I could also said, you know, if it's not a one, then put something here, right? If it isn't this thing, then put something here, right? But in any case, that adds up to 74, and then I can take my 21 over uh, 74. That gives us 28.37%, and the other one is 53 over uh, 74. So again, and so that's 72. Now again, you would expect it to come out 50-50. So if I just look at heads, and I was to look at these results, if I flipped a coin multiple times, and I came out with results of, it came out 28 heads, 26 heads, 36 heads, 42 heads. Notice that none of these results are above 50%. That uh, is quite unusual if it was a, f a fair coin, right? So, so, so this, would, this would give us a preponderance of evidence to say the, the null hypothesis does not look proper here because uh, although I'm looking at a sample, it, it seems quite unlikely that this is gonna be the case, right? So, so then if I was to look at our results this way, I transposed all the heads in a column and now we're going to compare it to the 50% that we would expect. And the first one, it's off by 22. So heads are too low by 22. It's too low by 24 by 14. So notice it's always too low, right? The, it's not always the same number. But but that's given us pretty good evidence that we're like, okay, this thing looks like it's weighted towards tails because because uh, we would we would expect then uh, that it would be that that it that you know it wouldn't so it didn't always come out tails right but but it and this is the common thing that's going to happen we're going to get the expectation which is the null hypothesis what we would expect to happen if it were fair and then test it out and see if there's a difference to, 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 from the actual data to what you would think would be happening or to the entire population, if it were, in this case, the entire population being as though we flipped a fair coin infinite amount of times and would have then a 50-50 split. So here's a, here's a histogram 
for the heads in a not fair coin of the results that we took here and notice it's the results then are populating around 31 to 35 percent instead of around the 50 and you've got this this shape that looks like it's that's happening somewhat consistently right and the outliers around are around that center point somewhat balanced versus this is the histogram we looked at in a fair situation where it's closer to the 50 percent and then you've got this kind of shape populating around it so that's the kind you know just the kind of concepts that would that we can theoretically think about uh here applying more of a of a mathematical concept because we kind of thought of infinity in this case which is a mathematically conceptual term for the entire population if we flipped an infinite amount of times and also how we can kind of and and then the statistics is similar to a situation that we saw before in weight where where we don't have a theoretical concept we have actual population of weights of individuals versus a sample of that example population but that's a similar concept as the theoretical inf infinite flips versus the sample uh, number of flips and we we can see how you can play with this stuff in excel pretty easily once you know some of these concepts which really helps you to understand it better if you can actually you know run tests uh in excel